Welcome to another video of the Cleavetech RPM strobe tachometer. This time I'm just going to show you basically how to use it. Uh, I've had a few questions about the best way to set it up and some of the harmonics of the white dot and how you know that you've got the right RPM for your motor. So you can see I've started with this TSR Falcon. Uh, it's got one little white dot on one of the teeth of the pinions. So as I rotate that round you can see that little white dot rotates with the pinion. So I'm going to connect it up to 5 volts. There we go. So now the motor is running at 5 volts. Often they take a little while to warm up anyway, but you'll hear the speed change probably on the video as the motor warms up. Um, the strobe tachometer is set way above where I expect the motor to be revving at. Um, I expect something like this to be, it uh, shouldn't be any more than 30,000 RPM at 5 volts. And I test all my motors at 5 volts, so I've got some comparison from motor to motor. So this is way above that. Uh, the thing to do then is to actually reduce the strobe flashing rate until you can get one white dot. So I'm going to start by turning these dials, that, wrote that one as in 10,000 intervals, that's 1,000 intervals and that's 100 RPM intervals. So I'll bring it down a little bit until I can see. I might just change this one. Oh look, right at there. At that point I'm starting to get three dots. Now that's quite a good indicator of being able to get three dots because it means I'm at some sort of multiple of the RPMs of that motor. So let's just come down again down to 22. Let's just go back up to 30 and bring it back down. 30,500, 31,5. Still probably a little too quick. I'm not getting a stable dot there. So let's drop into the 20s but come back up to 29. 28, here we go. You can hear the motor fluctuating a bit, but I'm, I'm, getting, I'm pretty close there. 28,300. So I brought the speed down to get to that rather than up. Because if I were to half that figure, then I would still see one white dot. So let's half that figure. Let's go down to something like 13. There we go. So you can see I'm starting to see one white dot. That's because the motor's re rotating twice for every flash of the strobe. So clearly it would appear that I might have got the right RPM, but I haven't. So you need to come down from a higher RPM to find the, the white dot. So it's basically the highest RPM that you can get one single white dot. Let's just show you the other way. Let's say I doubled that 28,000 RPM that we had before. So let's go up to something like this. Motor's picked up a little bit in speed. There we go. But if I double it, you can see that we get two white dots. That's because this time the strobe is flashing twice for each rotation, so you can see two white dots. Again, I can keep that, keep going, we can come up to there we go, three white dots, three, roughly three times four white dots, four times. 
So just to double check, let's go back to where we were, something like 28,000. There we are, and we're back to our one white dot. Uh, thank you.